Well, hello again, everybody. This is Dave Strong from Schmidt Music. And today we are going to start hitting our Tradition of Excellence, book one for clarinet. So we have talked about how to hold the clarinet, how to put the clarinet together, how to get the reed on the mouthpiece, all that fun stuff, how to get that first sound. And now we are ready to hit Tradition of Excellence, uh, your book that you'll be using in school. So the first three pages are all the stuff that we've talked about already for the most part, but let's review really quickly. So once we have the clarinet together, the little thumb rest on the back here, that's what we're, where we'll be balancing the instrument. And then the other place we balance, you'd think maybe it's your left hand here. It's actually where you have it in your mouth. And you remember your lower lip goes over your bottom teeth. Your top teeth will go right on the reed and you'll put about that much of the mouthpiece in like a maybe inch, inch and a half. Uh, you'll find a sweet spot that plays well for you. But what I'd say is don't be right out at the end because it's hard to get a good sound. If you have a little more mouthpiece in, you can get a bigger, prettier sound. Um, but that's the other place you balance. I should be able to hold it like this without using this hand because this hand, the thumb actually has to do some stuff too. So uh, let's get started. Let's take a look at page four. That's where we're going to be starting. That's the one that has the first exercises that we have. And if you look at the top there, those little uh, colorful boxes there are going to tell you a lot of important information about music, about fingerings, uh, about counting, all that kind of stuff. And so that's a good thing to look over. We, uh, we won't go over everything in here at once. We'll kind of go through them as the exercises happen, just so that we're, we're uh, not throwing a bunch of information at you right away. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to you being able to actually play your instrument. Um, but what I would take away from that is we want a very steady pulse in the music. You know, music, uh, we, wanna, we don't want it to be speeding up and slowing down, especially uh, if we're playing with other musicians, we want it to be steady and to know where we're going. Uh, so, yes, it talks about time signature, 4-4 four, four means there's four beats in the measure, and uh, those four beats are quarter notes, and we'll learn about what that is later. Uh, but right now, all we're playing is whole notes, and a whole note is that thing that kind of looks like an egg, and that egg means play for four beats. It means it's the whole measure, that's why they call it the whole note. All right, so let's look at number one, the E express. So your first note that we're gonna learn is E. So my E, for playing my E, I wanna have my thumb over this back key in the back and it has to be fully closed. So we we'll wanna make sure to really seal it with that patty part of your thumb. And then I also wanna put down my first finger on the first hole and key on the front. Not this key up here that doesn't have a hole, but right there. So I'm kind of pinching it right there. That is my E. And if you get it right, um, if you're not quite covering the hole, you might go. Uh, so if you're hearing any of that, just make sure you're really fully using that soft, fleshy part of your finger to plug the hole completely. And it can take a little getting used to at first, uh, but you'll feel like you kind of go into the hole a little bit. You're pushing into it and you're getting that tight, tight seal with it. So let's play number one, the E Express. One, two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four, and we're done. So when you get to the end, you notice there's the bar like we normally had the measure line, but then there's that thicker one at the end. That means we're at the end of the piece. So that means you're done. You can stop playing. Okay, so now the next note we're going to learn is D. And to make it a D, we add our second finger. And we're going to go by the holes again. So there's this little metal thing here. That's, that's not actually a key that you hit. It'll go to where there's actually a hole there. And same thing, make sure you're plugging it really nice uh, and, and uh, vacuum sealed. And your D should sound like this if you get it right. And uh, so if it sounds like that, great. If not, make sure you have all three of those uh, holes sealed. One with your thumb and two with your fingers. And it'll be your pointer finger and your middle finger. Here we go. D termination. One, two, ready, play. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, 
three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. And you're done. Great, so you have your E and you have your D. Now, the third exercise here is just going between the E and the D. So you can get used to switching between those two fingering. So let's give that one a try. And if you notice, I'm kind of turning here so that uh, my music stand isn't in the way of the camera so you can see what my fingers are doing. But if I were you, I'd put the music stand right in front of me so I can comfortably just watch what I play. So I'm gonna be sitting at a little weird angle here, but that's just so that you can see what's going on with the clarinet. Here we go, number three, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four, and done. And make sure to count that last measure. I know you're at the very end, but just get into the habit of always counting the measure until you hit that double bar at the end. Okay, so we are gonna add a third note on this page. We're moving fast, so there is your E, your D, and we'll put our ring finger down on this one, and this one doesn't have a key, it's just a hole. And then that's gonna be your C. So we'll have C, D, E, D, C. Let's give it a try. If you get it right, it sounds like that. So here we go, C spot run, and it says, how's your hand position? So it's a reminder to have your hand positioned like that, not like this or this or any of that. Again, using a mirror really helps. Here we go, C spot run. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four, and done. All right, so number five, this is gonna use all three notes that we know. Uh, Mr. Note takes a walk, so we'll have our C, our D, our E, and then back to our C. Here we go, one, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four, and done. Well, great, that is page four in Tradition, for, uh, tradition of Excellence for Clarinet. Uh, on our next video, we're gonna hit page five. We'll see you then, thanks. <laughs>